Magandang buhay po at welcome po muli sa aking channel. Ngayon naman po ang aking pong tuturo sa inyo ay How to determine the equation of a quadratic function given po yung zeros of a function. For example, number 1, zeros are 5 and negative 3. Number 2, zeros are 2 third and 4. And number 3, zeros are 2 plus or minus square root of 3 over 2. So lahat po yan ay tuturo ko po kung paano po ma-determine ang kanyang equation step by step. Okay, so for number 1, determine the equation of quadratic function whose zeros are 5 and negative 3. So here, pinili ko po dalawang whole number. For number 2, determine the equation of quadratic function whose zeros are 2 third and 4. So yan naman po ay fraction. And for number 3, determine the equation of quadratic function with zeros 2 plus or minus square root of 3 over 2. Yan naman po ay irrational numbers. So, paano po kaya yan ma-determine? So, tuturo ko po sa inyo step by step. Pero bago po tayo magpatuloy, click lang po muna ang like and then kung bago ka po sa aking channel, click po ang subscribe and notification bell upang sa ganun ay ma-update ka sa iba pang video tutorial na aking i-upload sa mga susunod. Sa ngayon po ay nagagawa po ako ng mga learning tasks at performance tasks sa mga susunod na lesson. Okay, so for number 1 example, determine the equation of quadratic function whose zeros are 5 and negative 3. So, paano po natin ma-determine yung kanyang equation? Gagamitin po natin yung formula. f of x is equal to x minus r1 times x minus r2. Wherein, yung x po dyan ay magiging uh, variable at yung r po ay yun po yung roots or yun po yung tinatawag na zeros of the function. Kaya, ang r1 po natin dyan, yung first zero ay 5, at yung r2 po natin, yung second zero ay negative 3. Okay, substitute po natin sa ating formula. So, f of x is equal to, yung first factor, x minus r1, ang r1 ay 5, kaya x minus 5, at yung second factor, x minus r2, so ang r sub 2 ay negative 3, kaya x minus negative 3. And then, we are going to multiply x minus 5 times x minus negative 3. Pero, isimplify po muna natin yung x minus negative 3. So, yung first factor, x minus 5. Since, minus negative 3 yun, kaya magiging plus. Ano po? Kasi, negative times negative is positive. Kaya, magiging x plus 3. So, we are going to multiply x minus 5 times x plus 3. Okay. So, maraming way po kung paano po i-multiply yung two binomials. So, ito po, ang gagamitin ko po ay foil method ni revise ko. Ganito lang po yun. Multiply yung first term, x times x is x squared, and multiply the last terms, yung negative 5 times positive 3. What is negative 5 times neg uh, positive 3? That is negative 15. And then, para sa middle term, multiply mo lang itong gitna, negative 5 times x is negative 5x, then multiply yung magkabilang dulo. x times positive 3 is positive 3x. So yung makukuha pong result dyan ay you are going to add. So what is negative 5x plus 3x? That is negative 2x. So yan na po yung kanyang product ng x minus 5 times x plus 3. So sulat po natin dito. f of x is equal to, ang first term ay x squared. Yan po. And then, second term natin ay negative 2x. So, negative 2x kaya minus 2x. And then, yung third term po natin ay negative 15. Since negative 15 magiging minus 15. So, ito na po yung equation of quadratic function. f of x is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 15. Okay, so for number 2 example, determine the equation of quadratic function whose zeros are 2 third and 4. So again, gagamitin po natin yung formula f of x is equal to x minus r1 times x minus r2. So ito po yung kanyang roots or zeros. So yung r1 ay 2 third at yung r2 ay 4. So again, substitute po natin sa ating formula. f of x is equal to yung first factor, x minus r1. Ang r1 po natin ay 2 third kaya x minus 2 third. And then, second factor, x minus r2. Ang r2 po natin ay 4, kaya x minus 4. And then, we're going to simplify x minus 2 third bago po tayo mag-multiply. Ano po? 
kasi may fraction po tayong 0. So, itong 3 po na denominator ay multiply natin dito po sa x na first term. Kaya, 3 times x ay 3x and then yung numerator na 2 kaya 3x minus 2. So, matatanggal na po yung kanyang denominator. Ano po? Napunta na po sa x. And then, multiply natin sa x minus 4. Okay, so after po ma-simplify yung fraction na 0 or root, ay we're going to multiply the two binomials. So again, 3x minus 2 times x minus 4, gagamit po kayo ng any method para makuha po yung product. So here, ganito lang po ang ginawa ko, simple, 3x times x ay 3x squared, yung first terms, at yung last terms, negative 2 times negative 4, yun po yung magiging last term natin sa ating trinomial na product, that is positive 8. Ano po? And then, para sa middle term, multiply po ulit itong gitna, negative 2 times x is negative 2x, and then, yung magkabilang dulo, 3x times negative 4 is negative 12x. Then, you are going to add, kasi pareho pong may x, so what is negative 2x plus negative 12x, that is negative 14x. So, yan na po yung product. Ano po? So, lagay po natin dito. f of x is equal to, first term po natin ay 3x squared. Yan, 3x squared. And then, middle term po natin ay, ito po, negative 14x. So, negative siya, kaya minus 14x. And then, last term po natin ay 8. So, positive 8, kaya magiging plus 8. So, yan na po yung equation of quadratic function with zeros 2, 3rd, and 4. f of x is equal to 3x squared minus 14x plus 8. Yan po yung kanyang equation. Okay, so for number 3 example, determine the equation of quadratic function with zeros 2 plus or minus square root of 3 over 2. So, paano po ma-determine yung kanyang equation since irrational po yung zeros? So, ganito lang po yan. Equate po natin yung zeros into x. So, x is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of 3 over 2. Next, you are going to simplify. So, paano po i-simplify? Since fraction po yung kanyang zeros, that is by cross multiplication. Ano po? So, multiply po natin yung 2 dun sa x sa left side. So, magiging what is x times 2? That is 2x. Isama na po natin sa x sa left side. So, is equal to, ang matitira po sa right side ay... 2 plus or minus square root of 3. And then next po natin, since whole number po yung 2, ilipat po natin sa left side, isama po natin sa 2x. Ano po, para matira po yung square root of 3 sa right side. So this will become 2x, pag nilipat po yung 2, positive siya magiging negative, so minus 2. Is equal to, sa left side ay plus or minus square root of 3. And then, what's next? Ang next po dyan ay, you are going to square both sides of the equation. So, ano po yung purpose? Bakit po natin square? Para makancel po yung square root ng uh, nasa right side. Ano po? Cancel po natin dun sa 2. So, ang matitira po sa right side ay yung radicand na 3. Ano po? And then, sa left side naman po, yung 2x minus 2 is square, ay you are going to multiply. So, dito po natin multiply sa gilid. 2x minus 2 is square means 2x minus 2 times 2x minus 2. You are going to square the binomial. So again, ito lang po yung ginamit ko, the same. Multiply the first terms, 2x times 2x is 4x squared. And then, yung last terms, negative 2 times negative 2. Negative times negative is positive, so positive 4. Yan po yung last term ng product natin. Sa middle term naman po, multiply itong gitna. Negative 2 times 2x is negative 4x. And then, yung magkabila. 2x times negative 2 is negative 4x also. And then, you're going to add what is 4x plus 4x or negative 4x plus negative 4x is negative 8x. Okay? So, yan na po yung product ng 2x minus 2 is square. So, ilagay po natin sa baba niya. Ito po yung first term natin, 4x squared. Ilagay po natin doon. Then, middle term, negative 8x. Since negative, kaya minus 8x. And then, yung last term, 4. So, positive po siya, kaya magiging plus 4. So, yan na po. 4x minus 8x plus 4 is equal to 3. 
If you notice, dalawa po yung constant natin, 4 and 3. So, yung 3, ilipat natin sa left side, isama natin sa 4. Ano po? So, this become, pag nilipat po yung positive 3, magiging negative 3. And then, matitira po sa right side ay 0. And then, dito po natin solve. Yung minus po natin yung 4 minus 3. So, 4x squared minus 8x, 4 minus 3 is positive 1, kaya plus 1 is equal to 0. Since, 0 po yan, gawin na po nating function. Kaya, equal to f of x. Okay, yan na po yung kanyang equation. Pa, pwede rin pong balik na rin yan. Mauna po yung f of x is equal to 4x squared minus 8x plus 1. So, ito na po yung equation ng quadratic function that the zeros are 2 plus or minus square root of 3 over 2. So, ganyan lang po kasimple. Okay, so maraming salamat po sa inyong panood. Kung meron po kayong katanungan sa lesson na ito, comment lang po sa comment box at hintayin po ninyo yung aking reply. Be sure lang na po na kayo po ay nag-like at nag-subscribe upang sa gawin pag ako po ay nag-reply ay manunotify po kayo sa aking reply.